तो हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू आवर चैनल इंट्रो मैक वेयर वी डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग कांसेप्ट्स एंड सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स व्हिच विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू डिजाइन योर ओन सिस्टम्स सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द सीरीज विद द डिजिटल इंजीनियरिंग टूल्स व्हिच आर फ्रीली अवेलेबल ऑन द इंटरनेट एंड आर प्रोवाइडेड बाय एसएमसी नाउ एसएमसी इज वन ऑफ द लीडिंग मैन्युफैक्चरर ऑफ न्यूमेटिक कंपोनेंट्स एंड हियर वी आर नॉट प्रमोटिंग एनी स्पेसिफिक मैन्युफैक्चरर बट द मेन पर्पस ऑफ the video is to let you know what are the different online tools which are freely available so in our previous video we have covered the normal pneumatic cylinder selection tool now today we will see the guided pneumatic cylinder selection tool so without wasting time let's get before going into details you should know that what will you learn out of this video so very first thing is what system inputs are required so whenever you guys design some kind of product or say mechanism it is very important that you should know what are the inputs that are required for the designing let's say you want to design a system in which you have to push a 10 kg load now what is the system input here you know that 10 kg load you want to displace so this is the kind of system input and uh, many times it happens that the system is complicated so you are not sure like what kind of system inputs are required so at the end of this video you will know that how this digital engineering tool will help you to know what are your system inputs then the second part comes is like what output parameters are required to be considered so whenever you design something uh, let's say our example 10 kg of load you want to push so which kind of cylinder you will pick what will be its bore size now the bore size is the output parameter so this out digital tool will help you to decide which bore size you should select and it will give you some output calculations which will be compared with your input parameters so that is very important factor that you should know uh, that whether my system is safe or not with whether my selection is uh, say proper or not and then the third thing is how to use this digital engineering tool effectively to check the feasibility of your design so yes at the end of this video you will definitely know that how uh, this digital engineering tool will help you to find out the optimum solution because whenever you go to design something there are n number of different options you might have then you have to compare and choose so what if if you have a tool which is readily available and uh, it can give you the results within uh, a very less time so yes all these things you will understand at the end of this video so don't skip the video watch it until the end so let's get started started so just click smc product selection tool you will get a link like model selection software just click on that window will open so there will be lot of options over here so just scroll down and you will get different type of options over here the equipment list is there we have pneumatic cylinders electric actuators and so many other things we have which we have already covered in our previous sessions you can just check out our previous videos for that so today we will be focusing more on the guide cylinder selection software so it is a software so you just have to click on that so just click on the guide cylinder selection software the window will open now here you could see the guide cylinder selection software it allows you to select an optimal guide cylinder size suitable for a load to be driven now this is an application so just click on download the program link and it will get opened into another window you just have to click on that just submit it and you are ready to download just download it it's a small application it will get downloaded with a, within a very less time now we have downloaded this software just check out just click on the downloaded files you will see lot of options over here just go in the program file smc application guide or cylinder application you will find application file just right click on that and run it as administrator so this is it this is the window 
and this is the interface now you have lot of different series of the guide rod cylinders which you can select let's uh, and many more are there so we can select some specific series if we want so let's select a series MGP which is a very commonly used guide rod cylinder series now here you could see some of the options the load centers what is the mass options velocity and lot of things are given over here on the right side you could see the part number which you have selected then we have operating pressure so depending on the operating pressure you have to select it now this is the input pressure which is given to the cylinder you have the stroke option let's select 20 mm stroke the mean velocity is there load mass uh, let's say 10 kg we have operating direction then the eccentric distances you could see what is l1 and l2 so these are the distances of your load from the axis of the cylinder so you can give those distances depending on your application so these are the input parameters which you must know then start calculation and here you have the different parameter calculation inputs you could see now some of the options are read uh, which are out of the range like kinetic energy load weight moment so these things are out of uh, the range what does it mean you can read the explanation that you have selected some series but it is not supporting the moments that means you have to change the series you have to change the bore now we have selected 16 mm bore now we have selecting the 25 mm bore again we are calculating now but see the options are getting changed now one thing that is load weight that is the out of range and we have to again uh, change the value so let's go with the next 32 mm and now start calculating now this is it so this is our required guided rod size initially we started with 16 mm bore and we keep on increasing the bore size and finally we have got the optimum size which will satisfy all the things over here now this is the second uh, you could see some of the calculations over here and the first thing you will get all the calc uh, all the calculated results and what is the tolerance for that particular series you can also save these results right and you can also print these results so this is very useful uh, platform on which you can easily select your guide rod cylinder right so let's check out some other series now as soon as you change the series these parameters will get changed according to the uh, the series and you have to also change uh, your uh, input parameters so this is very very useful software you are getting lot of different options available over here so depending on the application you can select the different series you just have to give the inputs you have to tweak the inputs and you will get the optimum size of the cylinder you don't have to go for an oversize or an undersize if you are picking a undersized cylinder that will shows the error into the system right so here you could see out of the range options so that means these things are out of the range uh, you ha again have to go with some different options now this is within the range so what does it mean that even if you are doing some wrong calculations the software won't allow you to select a wrong parameter so this is the uh, importance of this software and that is easily and freely available it just a few MBs of software uh, and I think that is very very important and very very useful so these different type of series are available you could see uh, in the history you can also uh, check some of the things and miscellaneous settings you can do some of the settings uh, over here you have the language option you have unit setting option so you can also change some of the units like the operating pressure unit if you want to change it into the Pascal or bar you can also uh, change that so there are different options language you can change settings you have the versions so this is a very compact size and a very very useful software and it's freely available so I hope 
you guys got some new information and you will definitely use this tool if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there until then keep intro making thank you for your patient listening thank you